What up Techies and Gamers, it's your boy Jermaine with Tech Toys and Gaming and today I have an awesome treat that has been highly requested on my channel in my video comments. So what is that device that is, seems to be so popular to me and rightfully so because it's a beautiful looking device and the device is the Fifine K688 XLR dynamic microphone that is correct awesome microphone for your podcasting your streaming your gaming any sort of content creation you may have such as youtube content creation like this we're going to take a look in our typical fashion on tech toys and gaming we're going to do our pop filters check the hisses and just check the overall audio quality of this microphone perhaps do a little bit of keyboard typing if it's you know going to be used for gaming i'm sure you guys might want to know about that and we're going to do a little bit of distance testing because i know these dynamic microphones trying to get your audio to get picked up pretty decently at a distance isn't always that easy right because uh they tend to be a little bit more quiet than and lower pickup than condenser microphones and rightfully so because it does a great job at mitigating ambient noise background noise fans pc fans ambulance in your backyard and particularly for me i'm interested in seeing how it compares to the five fine am8 because this has been my go-to for quite a few months and it has not been disappointing in the least i love that i can record with this microphone and do little to no post audio editing i can literally record with my am8 right here with this video and not have to touch the audio and export it and it's ready to upload that's the beauty of having something that sounds so decently well so good as the am8 so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing and see what you get for your hardcore 70 80 bucks for such a cool looking microphone like this let's do it All right, Techies and Gamers, here we are with the unboxing of the K688 Wi Fi Fine. Awesome looking dynamic microphone, both dynamic USB C as well as XLR, right? We have dual input functions going on here, so quite nice for awesome versatility, shock mount, and has a nice little SMB uh, look to it, right? So we're going to see if you don't need to spend six thousand dollars on a mic and you can just spend seventy dollars on something like this eighty dollars depends where you buy it uk us china all these prices are always a little bit different a little bit of fluctuation so let's see what we got in this box boom awesome flying saucers this is you have your instructions which is what we always will need for getting set up this appears to be a very elaborate set of instructions here uh fully woo fledged instructions right so if you're not sure how to set this guy up then five fine has got you covered from front to back all right but if you don't like looking at extensive instructions you can just watch videos like this all right and flipping over the top here oh this is a pretty thick covering here so it took quite the measure to make sure that this microphone was nice and secure and it gets to you nice and safe and not destroyed looking in the box we have our nice weapon style looking microphone an xlr microphone by five fine dynamic microphone i kind of like these dynamic microphones and this thing feels like really good quality just off of this first time touching this device this thing is 100% metal right here. Metal body. Nice little windshield you got here going on. This feels, ooh, velvety and sweet. This feels like uh, something I should be going to bed with, like a blanket. What? And the shock mount itself is, it looks plastic. That is metal. My Tech Easy game is out there in the world. So we have a full metal body construction, um, except for this portion here that attaches to your boom arm. That in fact is plastic this has a five eight inch tread here so make sure you have that nice sizable uh adapter there to go to your boom arm along with your microphone and box you will also get a nice i believe this is like about an eight foot usb c to usb a and as i suspected you do in fact have the adapter it comes with the three eighths tread adapter 
in case you don't have that on your boom arm. On the back here, we have a nice XLR port going. The mic does not come with its own XLR, so make sure you get yourself a decent quality XLR cable. USB-C that comes in box and you have yourself monitoring as well as mic gain going on here. That's monitoring, that's mic. And cool looking shock mount here made of complete metal. The shock mount is mounted by this pretty tough and rubbery uh, rubber band that hoists it together and you get yourself a nice wiggle factor going. Should do a good job at mitigating vibrations from, I don't know, hitting your boom arm or hitting the mic or even just like if it's mounted onto a boom arm that's mounted on your table and you have a nice cool mute button right there on the front. And that is about it. You can actually loosen and toggle this, of course. Obviously, that is a no-brainer, non-factor. All mics typically have that. Let's take off this awesome wind muff here and look at the capsule. Looking closely at the capsule's location, you will see it is relatively close to the front end of this frame. So speaking close into it, this capsule will be very near and dear to your mouth. What? And of course, this is also metallic as well. So we got ourselves a nice, awesome quality build here with this microphone. I'm really excited to see how this works and how it kind of compares to the likes of an AM8 by Fifine, which has been my daily go-to. So hmm, maybe I'll make a comparison video. Let me know in the videos, but let's go ahead and get into the testing. Let's go. All right, takers and gamers, here we are with the K688 microphone by Fifine. And this is the audio quality that we are getting out of box no tweaking whatsoever done to it. I have all of my volumes everywhere, including on the microphone itself at 100%. Can't get any louder than this. And I'm pretty close, I would say about four or five inches away from the microphone. And I do see in my OBS settings here, talking at about four or five inches away, I am already in the red zone. So yeah, this comes in pretty loud, but I'm also pretty close but otherwise this is the quality. Hearing it in my monitoring, it doesn't sound loud to me in the monitoring. I actually have my monitoring pretty loud and it sounds probably lower than what it's sounding like on the PC. But let me adjust some settings here. I have this audio way too loud, so I'm going to actually drop it down uh, first on the mic itself. I need to lower that gain down a little bit. You can hear some of the handling, right? Touching it, shaking the mic. Now with somewhat, took a little bit of tweaking to get the ideal gain here, but I got it. So with that said, let's go ahead and try plosives to give it a fair shot. Here we go. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them and poured them into a pitcher violently, just like that. What? So looking at my levels here in OBS, the uh, levels were not even dipping into the red so much. So. I at least did not clip, and I'm probably sure there is no distortion. Let's do a little bit of his test because I noticed some of that. Eating salads with snakes and serpents sounds delicious and delectable. <laughs> what? Delectable? I'm just making words up now. I do notice some level of hissing, but I'm pretty much up on the microphone, which is kind of where you want to be with microphones of this type to get the best capturing, the best audio from your vocals because it can really capture more of those nuances and more of your bass if you have bass in your voice guys what let's go ahead and do a little bit of distance testing now this is a dynamic microphone so i know once i lean back my audio is going to drop out quite significantly because these dynamic microphones do a great job at mitigating not even that far of noise like ambient noise and my pc fans and my hvac over here so what up, Tickets and Gamers? So, what do you think of this microphone? I think it's fantastic so far. Not too much over the top impressiveness, and it's not underwhelming either. It's just right where you kind of need it to be. I want to see if I can make this thing sound even more crisp. Let's kill out some of this background noise and add a denoise to this microphone. All right, here we are in OBS. I'm going to go ahead and apply a noise filter here to my K688. We'll go to filters apply a simple little noise suppression filter. Now, once I click OK, it will kick in like right now. All right, Texan Gamers, 
here is the K688 with a little bit of noise suppression going. How does that sound? Did that improve the, no the quality of the audio without the noise happening in the background? It typically always does no matter which microphone I have because now I am not competing with ambient sounds and being right this close to the microphone is probably where you're going to get the best sounding vocal audio, probably even instrumental audio. As promised, we're gonna do a little keyboard test here and see if we're gonna pick up some of these keyboard strokes on my little wireless Logitech keyboard for all my gamers out there, all right? So let's go ahead and do it with me talking and with me shutting up. What? Here we go. That close, yes, because I'm literally putting the keys right into it. But if I put it like over here, can you hear that? All right, and let's try it with me talking simultaneously so that way the noise suppression kind of opens up a little bit and picks up a little bit more noise as I'm speaking. And so far, I am pretty impressed with the microphone. Sounds relatively good for a number of usages, right? podcasting, gaming, streaming, that sort of thing, even content creation, of course. That, Techies and Gamers, was pretty good in terms of mitigating keyboard strokes, and I was pretty much slamming my fingers all over this keyboard, and even then, you would get very little and sometimes no keyboard strokes happening, so impressive, but of course, you'd have to apply some noise suppression. I'm going to kill the noise suppression. We're going to try that without it. No noise suppression taking place and here is some keyboard strokes for different folks absolutely picking it up my obs levels are jumping up and down probably not so bad since uh, since this does mitigate some uh background noise to give this microphone yet another fair shot i want to actually do something that I think would be quite nice and may improve the audio, and that is huh, utilizing it with the Fifine SC3 audio mixer. That's right, this does in fact take XLR, so we're gonna connect it via, where's my XLR cable at? I can't find it. XLR cable, that's right, we're gonna use the XLR connectivity of this microphone and connect it to our little SC3 here. Techies and gamers, political activist what now jumping over to obs right now i am running off of the audio mixer i have literally raised the gain on the microphone to 100 percent hardware wise because that is what the usb c respects right the audio mixer does not respect it so uh, even if i lowered the gain down to zero over the usb c levels have dropped completely they are off however since I'm running through the mixer via XLR, it does not respect these audio levels over the hardware itself on the microphone. Interesting to know. So the mixer has a mind of its own. Even playing field here, right? So we had 100% on OBS, 100% on PC, and 100% over the hardware, over the microphone. And just looking at the levels, you can see that the levels of the SC3 are ever so slightly higher than that of the USB-C. We're gonna do a back and forth switch between USB-C to XLR over the audio mixer I have here, right? So right now, this is over XLR via the audio mixer. How does this audio sound? And this is over the USB-C audio. How does this sound? Let's go ahead and go back and forth. USB-C, one, two, three, four, five. XLR, one, two, three, four, five. USB-C, one, two, three, four, five. USB-C, XLR, USB-C, both USB-C and XLR at the same time. Checking out the mute function and playback over USB-C. Do you hear like a click when I touch the touch capacitive mute button on top? Do you hear a click when I click? It's kind of the beauty of having touch capacitive mute buttons, you don't get that clicking sound with a hardware button. 
nice, sweet, mute, subtle uh, mute function. So I do really like that. Mute goes red on the top when you press it and it turns green when you are live. So seconds and gamers, what do I think of this K688 microphone? It makes a pass on the Tech Toys and Gaming Show. The microphone sounds fantastic. Pretty comparable to the AM8 by Fi Fine in terms of, I guess, dynamic range. I want to say that the AM8 might have ever so slightly a little bit more dynamic range than the K688. This one tends to sound, I don't know, maybe it's me, but it comes in a little bit muffled, more or less. Slight muffling, highs, mids, lows, they are there, but I feel there is like a little bit of maybe perhaps some muffling in the mid to basses tones i don't know you tell me tech is game is what you think of this audio but overall going over xlr definitely via the five fine sc3 mixer yes that sounds pretty good and i love the controllability the volume controls and everything over the mixer uh, these two together kind of go hand in hand it's a nice little marriage there i can't necessarily say it's better than the ama but if you guys want to see me do a comparison Five Fine AM8 versus Five Fine K688. And we can make that happen. You know what you got to do. Leave those comments in the comments below. And I will definitely pull that together. I probably most likely will do it anyway, whether you're coming or not. Simply because I, I'm really liking this microphone. And if I'm talking about trying to put microphones head to head, it's because they are sounding pretty good. And I always want to have the best sounding audio on this channel without having to actually bust and rip my pockets wide open out there for the people in the world. I know a lot of the guys out there are watching this, a lot of subscribers on my channel are a lot of budget gamers, budget, budget podcasters, and they're not looking to spend hundreds of dollars on a microphone, which you don't have to in this day and age, save your money. You don't need one of those SMB microphones when you have decent quality and decent uh, hardware builds such as this. It even kind of looks like one of the SMB microphones. So yeah, if you're looking for that look and looking for a uh, comparable sound, saving hundreds of dollars, then this is the way to go. Either this or the Firefind EM8, both of those devices are fantastic. I'm kind of torn between which of the two I want to stick with going forward. I think I'm probably just going to use the K688 for several of my videos going forward and seeing how that works in post-production, right? Because with the AM8, I do very little to no audio post-production. I really just export the audio as it comes in through my microphone. I wanna see if I can do that with this. And if I can, I might just stick with this. I don't have my fantastic RGB, but it's probably one less thing I don't have to worry about. It's just the way it's gonna be. And this is with the voice changes of the SC3, and I made it rhyme with one, two, three. What? Well, I said three twice.